Lumbar kill plus finger and quadrigia. Lumbar kill plus finger. How do you remember lumbar kill plus finger? Plus P is paradoxical. So something paradoxical will happen. The lumbar kills assume the position of writing, like holding a pencil. So the MP joint will be flexed and the IP joint will be extended. So when you say lumbar kill plus means you exaggerate the function of the lumbar kills. You will have that position of writing. So when you try to flex the fingers, there will be paradoxical extension of the IP joints. So that happens when you have flexor digitorum profundus laceration that's not treated, or a loose tendon graft, or you have distal finger amputation. If the flexor digitorum profundus tendon is cut or disconnected, it will not work. It will not flex the finger. So the flexor digitorum profundus tendon retract. When it retract, it puts a lot of tension on the extensor mechanism on the lumbar kills. So the lumbar kills is called to action. It's activated. When you try to bend the finger, you think that the flexor digitorum profundus is going to work. But what will happen and instead of that, the lumbar kills work. So you have paradoxical extension of the finger. Lumbar kill plus, what will happen? The PIP joint extends when you try to flex the finger. Like extension of the finger when the patient tries to grip a hammer. So how do you correct that? The anatomy of the radial lateral band. You're going to release the lumbar kill tendon. How about the quadrigia? If you have a flexor digitorum profundus injury, like a jersey finger, and you advance the tendon because the tendon is short, and when you advance it more than a centimeter and repair it, the tendon gets tighter. So you will have a flexion lag in the fingers adjacent to the finger with the flexor digitorum profundus injury. And that will inhibit flexion of the adjacent fingers. So you try to bend the fingers and there's a weak grasp. That is called quadrigia. During repair of an avulsed flexor digitorum profundus tendon, Excessive advancement should be avoided to prevent the occurrence of quadrigia syndrome to the hand. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.